This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Don't forget about the tools that you have in the ribbon right underneath here. Let's start on the right, the dimension jog line. Start the command, select a dimension, and then pick where you want that jog line to go. Now, it went to the end. I snapped to it by accident. Let's make sure my O snaps are turned off. I can pick this, and I can slide it and move it to a different spot. Now, I have some other tricks that I can do here with the jog line. I can select the jog line command, and you see here I have the option to remove it if I want. So I click remove, and then now it's gone. Now, this one here is the update. So if I've created some dimension styles and I've changed them and for whatever reason I've done some overrides or something, I can select the dimension objects, press enter, and it will update them to go back to the dimension style settings. So that's one way to fix it. I can use the inspect command. It adds or removes different information. I can put these different tags and things in my dimensions. I can put in a label, etc. Click OK and just follow the instructions on screen. And there you go. Now here I have a continue or a baseline dimension. If I hit continue, it will continue from the last dimension that I put in and just lets me keep going and going and going. And there you go. Or if I pick the continue and I don't want to continue from that last one, but I want to say continue from this dimension here, I can type in the letter S or hit select. Pick the side that you want to start from and go from there. This is a real nice tool to quickly dimension something in a line and in a row, and it makes it nice and neat. Now you also have the baseline. And that works in a similar way, only instead of continuing in a row, it puts it above or below. And again, you can select the dimension that you want to work with. And that keeps going. This is a quick dimension. It quickly creates a series of dimensions from selected objects. But that only works in model space. So if I double click in here, where I can actually select the objects and press enter. And because I'm in a different scale, it looks really strange, but that's what happens. It will dimension you know, across the X axis or the Y axis and quickly put the dimensions in there. Now I can adjust the space here between different dimension objects. I can tell it to automatically do it, or I can do it myself. Or here I can put in breaks. I add a dimension, break, to this line, and I can pick it auto, manual, or remove, pick auto, and it put a break right here. So those are some of the advanced tools that you can use to really tweak the visual display of your dimensions. I know there was a lot there, and a lot of them you're not going to use all the time, but they're there, and they will help you to make your drawing better.